Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanag from Encouragement from the Word of God. God is so faithful. It's a beautiful Friday and it's a long weekend here in Canada where we get the Monday off um, for, and then the next week is the school week where the children will start school. So it's an exciting weekend this weekend as we get ready for back to school for the children and also prepare for new changes, new challenges. And um, you know, whatever that we might face in life, that God is our refuge, He is our strength, He is our protector, He is our shield, He is our help in trouble. So I know the world is suffering with the COVID that's going on. People are suffering. People in the world are suffering. Where I come from, I live in Canada, but uh, I am originating. My motherland is Sri Lanka. And I know that people there are struggling. People there are struggling for food. People there are struggling for health care. People there are struggling with this COVID pandemic. And not only there, people around the whole world are suffering. But when people are suffering, when people need the help, we know that our help only comes, our help only comes from God alone. So I want to encourage you today with Psalm 46. Psalm 46 has been a wonderful, beautiful a psalm that I can trust in and I can read and I can encourage myself because I know that my help when I'm in trouble, when I'm in deep trouble, when I'm in sinking sand, when there is no help, God is my help. He is my only way. He is my only hope. Today I have a meeting online with the, the staff at my uh, boys' school and I'm going to talk with them and talk about the children and find out ways that they can support them at high school. And sometimes it's challenging. Sometimes it's it's scary of the unknowns because you're, you're meeting new teachers, new people, and you don't know how they will react with you, how if they will work with you, how my children will do in school. And all this uncertainty and all this fear comes, fear comes knocking at your door and thinking that this will fail, this will not do well, and you would not succeed. But I want to encourage myself and you when fear comes knocking down at your door, at your heart's door, encourage yourself with Psalm 46 and say to yourself, God is your refuge. God is your strength. So let's read together Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. He is our refuge and He is our strength and He is ever-present in help in trouble. He is going to be there always. He's ever present. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give away. Though the earth give away and though things around us give away, we will not fear. And the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. God is our refuge. He is our strength. He is our ever-present help in trouble. So I want to encourage you, whatever that you might face, remember that God is your refuge and your strength. And He is your ever-present help in trouble. We will face trouble in life. We will face, that is certain. There is no one that goes through life saying, you will not have trouble. I will succeed without any trouble. There is not even one person. Even people who are rich or millionaires can say that they went through trouble. Everyone goes through trouble. Everyone goes through. It's, it's destiny. Everyone has trouble. But we know that even though when we go through trouble, we are never alone. Our God is with us. He is our shield and He is our protector and He is our strength. When you feel weak and weary and tired and when you feel like you're fighting back again and again and again and you need your strength to draw from it is god and also some things in life don't make sense like covid and like things death and some things that around our life that happens we don't know why it happens we question why 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 does it happen why did it happen to me why? Why God? 
why didn't I have normal children and why did it have to be like this why do I have to go through this why do I have this sickness why do I have this poverty why do I lack why and we don't know the answer but God knows everything whatever that you go through we know that he is the wisdom for us he is the companion for us and he will help us and to remember that we are never alone and God is always with us he is our refuge and strength he has said he will never leave us nor forsake us he will go before us and make the crooked ways make the crooked way straight if you go on a road and you find the roads are not made God is saying he will go before you he will make sure the roads are made so you will have a smooth transition smooth transition maybe to school smooth transition maybe to high school smooth transition maybe to workplace smooth transition maybe from hospital to home smooth transition maybe from poverty to to being wealthy to be to be having something and when you lack something to have something whatever that you might have through and whatever that you are going through that is difficult God is saying he will be with you so I want to encourage you with Psalm 46 today please read it with and and see that he is the Almighty God and he is our fortress and he is with us he will be with us whatever heaven may and earth will pass away but he will never leave us nor forsake us so encourage yourself encourage your heart encourage your soul and speak to your soul and say I might face this trouble will be around me but God is my strength he is my refuge he will be with me so as I encourage myself I want you to encourage yourself as well today so may God bless you today let's pray together father many of us struggle in different struggles we are fighting different fights lord i might be struggling with my kids transition to a new school new meeting new teachers new surroundings new transitions and i might be worried about the covid situations and the children entering schools but my friend who's listening to me might be struggling with different struggles they might be struggling to health issues they might be struggling to poverty they might be struggling to different different depression or whatever sickness that they might have Lord I thank you that you are with them that you are their ever-present help in trouble that you'll never leave them nor forsake them that you are their refuge and their strength God we thank you that we can do everything with you that we are we are we are Lord, we have the strength that we need to walk this walk because you are with us. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you praise. We thank you that you are with us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you were blessed today. just want to sing one worship song. It's called Graves into Gardens. It's a beautiful worship song. Hosanna, come and say hi. My daughter's here. Come and say hi. You don't want to say hi? Okay. It's a beautiful new worship song. I, I hope you have listened to this. It's called Graves into Garden. Have you seen a graveyard? God turns that graveyard into gardens. A beautiful garden, a flowery garden, where the bones and the death was there. The sadness was there. God turns your sadness into gladness. God can turn anything in your life, your graveyard in your life. God can turn into a beautiful garden because he is able I have witnessed and I have seen that he is able and I'm trusting you even now I'm trusting him because he can turn our situations into something good I've searched the world but it couldn't fill me man's empty praise and treasures that fade are never enough and then you came along and put me back together and every desire is now satisfied here in your love oh there's nothing better than you there is nothing better than you there is nothing nothing is better than you
Oh, there's nothing better than you. There is nothing better than you. There is nothing. Nothing is better than you. I'm not afraid to show you my weakness. My failures and flaws, Lord, you've seen them all, and you still call me friend. Cause the God of the mountain is the God of the valley. There's not a place your mercy and grace won't find me again. Oh, there's nothing better than you, there is nothing. Better than you, there is nothing. Nothing is better than you. There is nothing better than you, there is nothing. Better than you, there is nothing. Nothing is better than you. You turn mourning to dancing. You give beauty for ashes, you turn shame into glory, you're the only one who can. You turn mourning to dancing, you give beauty for ashes, you turn shame into glory, there you're the only one who can, you're the only one who can. There is nothing better than you, there is nothing better than you, there is nothing, nothing is better than you. I hope you were encouraged with this word today. Please read Psalm 46. If you're going through a difficult time, remember that God is your strength and your refuge. This too will pass. This too will pass. This day that you were fearful. And God strengthened you and helped you through to overcome whatever that you were fearful of. This day will pass and you will overcome. Because God has overcome everything that we might face today in our life. Have a wonderful day. May God encourage you today. Please share this video with your friends and your loved ones. So that someone will be encouraged with Psalm 46 today. God bless you. Say bye. I want to see the Bye.